Hello and welcome to another Replica Reviews video. Today we're going to be doing a video review for the Umarex Wolfer PPKS. Now as you can probably see on the box here, the version that we've got here today is the uh, dual tone version, so the one that comes with the nickel slide. Uh, the box it comes in is really nice, it's a really quite a sturdy little box, but as you can see probably in comparison with my hand, it really is a small box, so it kind of gives you some idea of, uh, of what to expect with this gun really, size wise. Um, just like with any other manufacturer on the box here, it's just got all the basic information, the fact it's blowback, runs off a 12 gram CO2 cartridge, fires 0.177 BBs, so 4.5 millimeter BBs, uh, and the magazine holds 15 rounds. And one other thing it does mention, it has got a metal slide, but we'll move on to construction in a second. So opening the box up, the first thing you will notice is this handy little Umarex um, user manual. It's got all of your major European languages in here, um, covering everything from how to put it into safe mode, how to take the CO2 out, uh, how to load your CO2 in. And then at the back here, it's got this really useful exploded diagram uh, with all part numbers and just shows how everything goes together. So if you ever need to replace anything, or if you ever want spare parts or if it breaks this is a really good place to go to so I'd recommend keeping the uh, the user manual even if you do bin the box and put it in your own pistol case so moving on to the pistol itself as you can see here it's a really small pistol um, obviously designed originally to be used by undercover police in Germany and uh, various other agencies the gun when you pick it up has got quite a nice weight to it it's got full metal construction excluding a few parts but we'll go into that in a minute so basic overview this is uh, essentially what you get the slide as I mentioned a minute ago is nickel so obviously that's metal and it's got these really nice Wolfer trademarks obviously being a licensed replica they can use the trademarks so you've got the Wolfer logo on the slide here and also a little bit of information here along with the caliber size as well Flipping the gun over, staying on the slide, got the usual markings you'd expect, just a little uh, bit of information saying to use the user manual before use and then all the uh, markings for our German market as well. Moving on to the rest of the gun, the main construction of the frame is metal. Um, as I said a minute ago there are some exceptions to the, uh, to the rule there. The main one you'll notice when you pick the gun up is the grips here these are plastic um, they are fairly sturdy though when you're holding the gun it's not necessarily an issue other plastic parts include the magazine the co2 tightening screw here the hammer up here and also the magazine release button uh, now the magazine in this gun is a dropout magazine so this is uh, purely a gravity fed there's no spring loading or anything like this so push the button and then just bring it out now the magazine was one of the uh, the few things that we weren't entirely 100% satisfied with. It's made completely out of plastic which usually isn't too much of an issue. But I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this on the screen. But the magazine is made out of two halves. And at the top these two halves, um, they meet but they're starting to split already. Now spare magazines are easily available. You can buy them in packs of three and however any other combinations you want to get them in and they are relatively cheap but I don't see why you should have to go and buy spares um, just for the sake of spending a few extra quid to start off with to put it like a metal magazine in now loading the magazine is uh, fairly tricky you've got to pull down the uh, spring here all the way down to the bottom now we find when you're loading it helps load from the back through this hole that you can see but if you cover it with your finger and then pour the BBs in and then release the spring when you're done. We found that's the best and uh, quickest way of doing it so far. So we'll leave the magazine out of the gun for a bit. Features on this gun uh, are fairly few and far between. Um, obviously being quite a basic gun in both real world and as this replica in front of us, there aren't really many things uh, to talk about with regards to external features. The only real ones we can really talk about here is the magazine release catch that goes in and out just as you would expect on any other BB gun or uh, air pistol. 
flipping it over, the safety catch is on this side. Now on the normal PPK, it would have been on the other side, on the slide. However, on this particular model, it's moulded into the slide and completely dysfunctional. So, as you can see here, the safety catch is on this side of the pistol. Now, to put it into safe mode, it's really simple. You just slide this down into place. However, to put it back up into fire mode, you have to push down and then up. The reason for this is, as you may be able to see just here, there is a small groove here. So, when you slide the safety catch down, it clicks up into that groove and basically stops you from accidentally knocking it. So you need to push down to get it out the groove and then across like so. Apart from that, they are the only two features on the gun. Now the gun is a single action only trigger, which means that I can't fire it like this. The gun has to be pre-cocked. Now you can either do that with the hammer like so, or you can just rack the slide back like that. Now the only thing we have really noticed is I'm not sure how well this comes out on the camera but when the magazine is in like so when you pull back the uh, the slide it will not return to its ready position. To get it back you basically have to take the magazine out, cock back again, release it forward and then you can fire off the action like so. Now when it isn't cocked i.e. if it's just been loaded uh, with BBs in the magazine you can just do this with the trigger and likewise if I cock it and apply the safety catch the trigger becomes uh, completely inert again so pushing down and up and then we can fire off the action now to load the CO2 into this gun is uh, is fairly simple you literally have this uh, little indentation on the bottom here get your finger underneath lift the cover off and it comes off like so. Now as you can see you unscrew your CO2 cartridge um, holder here and then when your cartridge is in slide it back up and then obviously stop when you hear the usual. Now one thing we did notice is when we first put the CO2 cartridge in this gun for the first time it really was hard to get in. You could get it in down the bottom but on the top it was catching on this little uh, lip here. Now when we first put it in we did put a bit of cloth just behind so that in the event of us needing to get the cartridge out we could pull the cloth uh, because we really did have to jam it in now it's probably not very good for the guns internals but we did it anyway um, what we found is after we'd used the CO2 cartridge it just fell out uh, there was no resistance there wasn't any catching on it and it's been fine ever since so it could have just been a little bit of loose swarf inside the uh, the housing or it could have been anything but we just found if you get your gun for the first time and it really is quite hard to load the CO2 in uh, we had exactly the same problem and obviously once you've uh, put your CO2 cartridge in you can see on the back of here we've got two metal hooks on this clip line them up with the grooves on the slide clip in like so and you're ready to go okay so that concludes our video on the Wolfer PPKS made by Umarex. Now just before we finish up and uh, do a summary I just thought I'd bring in a few other guns just to show you the size sort of comparison. And as many of you know this is the Makarov and uh, the Makarov was modelled after the PPK. Now as you can see they are fairly similar sizes although the PPK here is uh, just that little bit smaller. Um, and just put it in a probably a better perspective for everybody because I know pretty much everybody's familiar with these types of guns is uh, this one in particular is a Tanfolio witness but any Colt 1911 as you can see just for size comparison here it's a lot smaller than your usual gun. Now we found in particular that the Umarex gun here is a really fun one to shoot uh, the blowback on it was uh, superb the only issue we had with it really was rather than kicking back and forward it almost feels like it's corkscrewing in your hand. Um, still once you've worked it out, sussed it out, got used to the gun you can just hold it a lot tighter and it's uh, it's absolutely fine. Uh, feet per second wasn't uh, amazing, still really good though, we still really enjoyed it um, and accuracy as well wasn't great. However we will cover that in a separate video which will be coming to your screens in a couple of weeks 
uh, where we'll take the gun outside and we'll do a full firing review just like we've done with all the other guns. Um, overall I was really proud to sort of get this gun for the price we did. Uh, brand new we picked this one up for £70 so uh, it was a really good deal um, from our local firearm dealer. Uh, they usually got some good deals if you uh, if you know where you're looking. Um, otherwise you can usually get these guns retailing about £120-£130 depending on where you look. Um, build quality on it was superb even on the inside of the slide um, it really was good quality. Now we didn't field strip this gun today but you can field strip it uh, but today we didn't. Uh, we can do a video of that if anybody wants to see it we can do a video alongside the Makarov field stripping which is also going to be coming quite soon. Uh, we could just do a joint uh, video there. So overall it's a really good gun. I'd recommend it if you're after something that's just fun, not necessarily accurate, but just something that's fun to shoot and just, you know you can have a bit of a laugh with. Uh, nothing too serious though. So if you like what you've seen today, feel free to subscribe, comment, got any questions, feel free to comment uh, or send us an email, anything like that. We also have, just before we finish up, if you haven't checked it out already, there is a link to the British Shooting or the British Pistol Shooting Association on our channel feel free to check that out it's a new organization so if you like it feel free to back it other than that thank you for watching feel free to subscribe rate or comment thank you very much